What's this one? Go out. Oh. Go around. I'll go around. And this one? Oh, okay. How much? Let's give it a crack. Jumping in. Jesus. Oh, we don't have an accident. I'm filming now. Hello. Hey. Hello, Vietnam. Hello, Vietnam. It's awesome. <laughs> Let's go. Just four hours from Ho Chi Minh City, Muy Nez, palm fringed beaches, sleepy coastline and chilled out vibe provided me with the perfect release from the hustle and bustle of Saigon. Come along for the adventure as I explore Muy Nez, Vietnam. say that they'd be dead duckies um, <laughs> just gone seven o'clock I'm on the hunt for breakfast uh, and I might go and uh, might take a taxi um, to a place called the fisherman's village uh, just a sec I didn't adjust the bloody lens on this GoPro alrighty much better so yeah as I was saying, I want to go check out the Fisherman's Village today. Now, if you watch my other vlogs, you probably know that I was humming and ahhing and contemplating whether I should hire a scooter or not. But uh, the boss says no. After, after a chat with my wife uh, back home in Australia, um, she, she tells me it's not a good idea and I've got a son to get home to, etc, etc. I'm traveling without insurance. So we're going to stay on the safe side and probably just hire, maybe just sit on the back, hire, hire a taxi, a taxi driver or hire one to a guy on the scooter to drive me around. So that way I can film as well while I'm, uh, while I'm cruising around. So we'll see. I don't know. I've got my drone with me today. I want to try and get some cool, cool drone footage. So I don't know. We might just take a normal taxi over the fisherman's village. Um, and then see what the options are with the scooter. I downloaded the Grab app. There's a, an app called Grab here, and it works like Uber. But they've also got Grab motorbikes, so you can zip around. Uh, someone will come and pick you up on a motorbike and take you around. So I'm curious to see how that works as well. So anyway, right now we're just going to get some brekkie, and then uh, then I guess we'll start today's adventure and have a look around, see what's around the surrounding areas of Mui Ni. I've got a few few places in mind um, so yeah first at the top of the list is is going to be the fisherman's village guys alrighty so I tried to do the use the grab app to get the bike nobody bloody answered so I've used the same one to get a taxi uh, which I'm paying a hundred and four thousand for which is kind of expensive uh, for here for Vietnam so I'll just give you a note, let's work it out. I know, four. Yeah, so it's six dollars, uh, which is fairly expensive for here in Vietnam. But uh, I don't want to wait around longer. I want to get to the village nice and early in the morning. Well, it's, it's not even that early now. It's coming up to eight. Uh, we've got to be back in time to pick up some washing and stuff. So yeah, just waiting for my taxi now. This could be the, my man here. Let's have a look. This is my man 86F. Hi, brother. And we're in. How are you, boss? Okay, thank you, buddy. Just getting sorted into my taxi. Seatbelt on. Gotta be safe. Safety first. Even if you're in a place that you don't need to put your seatbelt, I recommend. How's your day, brother? Good? Yeah? No English, huh? Oh, mm -hmm. Beautiful, very Okay. And we're off in our little grab taxi for the, uh, for the day. Let's have a look. <coughs> we 
just so you got all the nice seaside restaurants here. Look at that. It's pretty cool. Maybe I should have booked my hotel a bit further up here. I don't know. It's just it's nicer here. Then in the uh, windsurfing zone that I'm in down there, the seas are a bit calmer. Yeah, you've got all these all these nice open air restaurants facing the beach. Uh, I've got a feeling we're coming up to my own village shortly. Oi, careful, careful. There we are. Yeah, it looks like I'm coming up to my fishing village now. <coughs> There we are guys, at the Moini fishing village. And how beautiful is it? Look how pretty it is. All those beautiful boats all along the way. Very cool. And uh pretty sure I'm gonna have to do a drone flight along here somewhere. We'll find somewhere good, somewhere safe I can take off and land from. And it's not too windy, should be alright. Might go and have a look, guys. First, I'll do a little, little walk down, have a look. We'll go over and see if we can get over the top of some of the boats and stuff with the drone. Mind you, I don't want my drone to end up in the uh, in the sea either. <laughs> Wow, look at this. Look at this. So these... These are boats or... Yeah, they're not boats. Look at this. They remind me of something like... Uh, they remind me of something like you'd see at an amusement park, like a rides or something for the kids, you know? It's very... Strong smell of seafood here, guys. Obviously, because there it's all done. Look at all this smashed crabs, lad. <laughs> wow, look at all the shells and seafoods and stuff. Hello, collecting crabs. You collecting all this one? It's for eat? No. No? Ah, this is for souvenirs. Yeah. I was going to say, ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, of course. Flowers, and these, these, these shells, where do they come from? Do they just wash up or is it left from the fishing boat? Uh, not really. No? Yeah, it just well, come from the sea? Yes. So many shells here. There's a lot of seafood. It's very interesting. So this is going to be for my souvenirs. Yeah. Lovely. Okay, very interesting. Well, good luck with your collecting. Have a lovely day. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Ah, so she sells seashells by the seashore. Um, well, <laughs> not exactly, but more or less. She collects them and then turns them into stuff and sells them later. And probably not by the seashore. Maybe just up there a little bit. Alrighty, so let's. Whoa, what's going down here? A lot of action. Looks like a crusher time. Here they're crushing all the shells up. But anyway, giving you guys a look at the world and what Phil's doing in the world. This lady's cutting this one wide open. Oh, very interesting. And there she goes, she just popped it right into that little, little tank there. Hello. 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 
Yeah. This one you're selling from here? Yeah, uh, lobster. Oh, lobster. Uh -huh. No, 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 no one. No one, no one to buy. I don't want to buy. Only looking, only for see. Oh, she was very disappointed that I don't want to buy a lobster off her, but what are we going to do? She's carrying a lobster around with me, a live lobster around with me for the day. Uh, <laughs> okay, so. It must be your market as well. You come here and you buy a fresh, yeah, from these little pots. Look at this guys, you got lobsters, a little salty shellfish. Yeah, they weigh it and you make a sale right here, squid. That's why they're preparing it all to sell. Oh, look at this one. Very cool. It's over here, undercover. Probably better not to have your, your fresh fish sitting out in the sun. I know where I'd be buying it from. Under here, I think it'd be the, the, the bed. Oh, look at this. Wow, look at all these little pods in there. Got them all taped up, painted up. Beautiful fresh seafood. Look at the size of this squid. Wow, look at this guy. Let's have a look at him. Oh. Strange creatures here, yeah, they no idea what they are. I'd probably still eat them though. That one cooked up for me. <laughs> well, what an extraordinary place. This is. So glad I came down and can share it with you all. And if you think it's cool guys, you know what to do. Smash the like button. That shoots this video up on the algorithm, gets more people to see it, more people to see the world and how it is. More people can see what Phil's doing. Okay, so it's kind of all did us down a bit down here. But actually this might be a, a better area for me to sort of find somewhere to put my giant up in the air, get him going. Maybe if I can find a nice hard flat piece of ground. It might be good. Right yeah, let's give it a crack. I think it's drone time guys. Thank you. 
done. Drone footage sorted. Happy as a pig in the proverbial. Now, I don't know. It's only nine o'clock. Don't have to pick up the washing for ten. I think we'll trek along here. See what we can discover. What this one? Go out. Oh. Go around. Oh, and this one? Oh, okay. How much? 200. 200? Okay. Why not? Let's give it a crack. Let's do it. Okay. okay. <laughs> you said we we're going to see what the day brings, huh? So. Let's get out our little boat and get out there. Let's traverse out into the water. Jump in. Jesus. Oh, I hope we don't have an accident. <laughs> Sit on the middle here, I guess. And that's it, we're off. <laughs> on our little our little round boat. So just like an amusement ride. Here we go, 200. I wonder how long the ride's going to go for, for my, uh, my 200, 200,000 Viet Dong. Anyway, it's for the experience. I think 200,000 is about $12 from memory, something like that. So yeah, let's go check it out. Oh, I'm already at a snag. <laughs> Gonna untie me, and there we go. Out in amongst the boats over here. Well, look at all the gear, look at the big winch. Big winch on this one, you get the little light as well. Ready for the night, they must go out very early in the morning. They catch quite a, quite a fair few fish. And a little setup like that. Then you got the bigger ones here, the big boys. I think the worst way is to spend the day, spend the morning anyway. We get up close to a couple. Pretty much our loop around. <laughs> Looks like we're heading back in now. That's an easy 200,000 for two. <laughs> I probably didn't need to do that. I saw I've got all this on the drone footage, but I want to, you got to go for the experience sometime, see what it's about. And yeah, $12. What the hell? Why not? Hi buddy. Fishing. Fishing. Look at these fishermen right there. So they just come out wade around with their nets. I'd say that's what Tung does as well generally, but he just made himself a bit extra money. With the tourism. <laughs> Smart guy. And it looks like we're heading back in now. Okay, okay. That's it. Have a good day. There we go. Tung's happy. I'm moderately amused. It was pretty cool, I guess. Um, but like I said, I got everything I needed to see with my drone. But what Tung, what I did see uh, was a closer up view. And over there, with those rocks I was thinking of clambering over and seeing what's over there, there's no point. Couldn't clamber over, 
there's a house and then there's more of the same of this so i'm just going to go back up here because this looks like the main touristy part um probably head back to down towards my hotel or maybe find someone up here because uh i'm starving it's time for second breakfast because when i was out in the morning um before i set out i don't know it's different here from from in ho chi minh city where everything's open very early it must be they're just more chilled out here there was nothing open for breakfast so i could only find one little place um so i was only able to get a couple of croissants with nothing on them just dry old croissants and a, a, a couple of the beautiful vietnamese iced coffees but uh i really need some some real food so i want to get some eggs or something like a, a good westernized breakfast i'm not too keen on having the pho for for breakfast like like the vietnamese do um so yeah i might head up here into the town see if there's somewhere here to grab a quick breakfast if not I'll, I'll go back towards my hotel where are you from from australia okay. i'm from oh. australia yeah yes. so how yeah. long you're here uh 20 days 20 days yes. long we only have uh, been uh, from north to south ah, as in the north in it's yes. beautiful in the north yeah yes uh, long. yeah, yeah. And how yes. long you went to how long back yes. yeah. very nice yes. okay went on the water there but not here. Not here. Not here. Stay on the earth. Okay, lovely. Have a great day, guys. Bye bye. I just thought I'd tell those those lovely people about Tung's little boat tour. But uh, they want to stay on the earth. Uh, good on them. There we go. So she disposed of the shells. Then I don't know. Later on, these ladies will come and crush the shells, or maybe that's maybe they, after they take the meats out, they crush them up. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Right, anyway, let's go see if we can get that breakfast that was I was talking about. Hello. Hello. Put the little crabs into the nets. I don't know, I just find it all fascinating. I wonder, I wonder what they're doing, uh, um, what the techniques and why they're doing the things and what it's used for. It's just cool to watch. Alrighty, let's head up these stairs. See what we discover up here. You want to hold it? Yeah, try. You're filming now. Hello, hey. Hello, Vietnam. Hello, Vietnam. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. <laughs> How much? Cool, huh? This one? Uh, Vietnam, I don't know. I only know Australian dollar. Around 700 Australian for this one. 700. 700 only for GoPro. 700. 700. 700. But uh, only, for, only for, for this one inside. And then this is the outside one. Another maybe 200. And this one maybe 100. 700 dollars. 700 for camera. But this one on the outside, this is extension. It's uh, called media mod with microphone and everything. Cost more. Okay. A little bit more. Yeah. And then. Yeah. And then. You want? You want? I sell for you one thousand dollar. One thousand Australia. One thousand dollars. You give me this. I give you this one. I give you for one thousand Australian dollar. What? You have this one. Yeah, I move away, huh? For one thousand dollar. One <laughs> okay. I don't have money. Yeah, okay, all good. No, I'm gonna have a look at the menu, maybe come back, alright? Yeah. Let me see the menu. Thank have a good day. He didn't want to take my offer for a thousand Australian for my old GoPro. You gotta try. <laughs> Let's see what was on their menu. I had a feeling there. Uh, just all cakes, coffees. I want breakfast, man. I want some eggs. I want something, something 
sell it to eight. This looks like by me an iced coffee. No? No, it's not. Hello. Hello. Have by me? No? No, no by me. Yeah, okay. No by me there. Let's have a look. What's over here? Oh, oh. Maybe have over here. Oh, hey, brother. Hello. Oh, my, why are you not missing that either? I don't know if it's um, different regions have different foods or whatever, but so far in Muine, sometimes I forget the name of this place. Sometimes, yeah, so far in Muine, I haven't seen any. Ah, Ban Mi, but it's closed. I was just saying, I haven't seen any Ban Mi, so they do have it. Maybe it's just a certain time of day. Coffee and makeup. Oh, man, you can't even stand anywhere. Wherever you stand here and just have a little piece of it, someone wants to park their scooter right where you are. Yeah, yeah no worries, lad. Okay. All right. Let's keep looking for something solid to eat. Ah, uh, yeah, it's this same man. That doesn't look like they have. No. It says about me, but I can't see any green. I can't see any coffee. Uh, I don't know. What's this place? Seafood. Great place if you want to come have a seafood lunch. Oh, fresh. So they take it out, choose it. But the only problem I, I don't want a seafood lunch. One second breakfast. Alrighty, so I've just been successful in getting a, a grab a bike to come pick me up. So uh, this will be exciting. It's a bit cheaper, it works out a bit cheaper. So I've got to wait for Yun Van Tay, 86 B3 on a Yamaha Exciter. So he should be coming up shortly, he's on his way. And uh, Jump on the back of the grab bike and head back to the hotel, get my washing. See how that goes. Alrighty, so I've just negotiated a grab bike. I get to wear this cool helmet and I'm up to the hotel now. So this is a cool way to travel, guys. It's a lot of fun, a lot cheaper as well. And it's safer, I don't have to worry about crashing the bike or anything. Actually, I might see if I can take these around everywhere. Actually, pretty cool way to do it. It's actually a very cool way to, do, to travel. Nice and fresh as well. It's awesome. <laughs> Let's go. Thousand for this one as opposed to 104,000 for the car, and I honestly prefer this. And be honest, it doesn't feel dangerous at all, it feels quite safe. Coming with a helmet on, so I'm all right. If I can get these the whole day, I will. Much cooler. Pretty risky, pretty cool. Uh, it actually feels very safe. Probably looks a lot more dangerous on the camera than it is.
stops, cool little villages along the way. With the kids, everything. Well, these guys, they don't care. They'll, they'll carry a washing machine with the baby and the whole family and the dog all on the one little motorbike. Thank you, brother. Oh, have a good day, man. See you, boss. Yo. Oh, helmet. You're okay. <laughs> Nearly got my helmet, man. No oh, good. Uh -huh. Yeah? Done. Thank you, brother. Nearly, uh, thank you. Thank you. Nearly took off with the guy's helmet. I want to keep wearing it. It's so much fun. <laughs> I didn't even realize it just jumped off. Figured it's on there. Oh, yeah. Now. Almost 10. Maybe I saw a place way up here serving breakfast. That might be our breakfast. And then pick up the laundry. I think that's the way to do it. So I found right there, um, well, here's my laundry that I just picked up. Um, I think it was about two or three dollars to wash a kilo of laundry. Um, and dressed right here as well, in my hotel. I found by me a nice coffee, which I just paid three dollars as well for, for a good second breakfast. So happy about that. Um, maybe I was just up too early in the morning for everybody this morning. So anyway, now it's back to the hotel, recharge it, and uh, hit the next adventure.